Hey you guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me on my fourth week of eating a carnivore diet. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I definitely suggest go watching those, especially the first one. I really go into a lot of detail as to why I'm actually doing this crazy diet. Basic gist of it is that I'm just trying to heal my inflammation that I have on my tongue by just eating only meat. And I know last video I said that this was my last week of eating the carnivore diet. It turns out it's not. It's the fourth week and today, which is the end of the fourth week, lands on the 27th, which means that there's still three to four more days in the month. So there will be one more video and it'll have my final updates as far as like my weight loss with pictures and I'll also have my inflammation update, my hair loss and nail growth update and I'll go into more details whether I actually want to continue this way of eating or not. In this week's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I- uh I'll just be sharing with you guys the exact same thing I mentioned five seconds ago. So here we go. Okay, so I just got back from work and I'm freaking starving. I actually went grocery shopping and I cannot wait to go back to eating a variety of foods just because you can make your budget stretch a, stretch a little bit longer if you can eat like avocados and tomatoes and you're not just eating only meat. So I did just go fill up on meat. I also bought some other bad stuff that I shouldn't. I didn't buy bad stuff. I just I bought stuff I'm not even going to eat right now. Rounds, some steak, chicken thighs. I just picked up whatever I found. There wasn't that much. And then I bought almond flour because I feel like I'm going to make treats. And then... I went to the store and I bought like these Lily's sweets. Look, grocery outlet. Freaking amazing prices. I bought these. I'm not gonna eat them. I also bought white chocolate chips from Lily's. And then I bought sweetener. Like if I'm gonna make something, I'm not gonna make any. Well, I am gonna make something that I can't have. I'm not here buying stuff that I'm not gonna be using. I'm not gonna be using it anytime soon anyways. I don't know, I have an addiction. I have a problem. That's not even mentioning the box I just got from Chalk Zero, which is, it's a lot of stuff similar to what I just bought from Lily, so what's wrong with me? Anyways, I am going to air fry these burgers and I'm gonna air fry all of them just because I don't wanna clean this air fryer twice. Yeah, it is seven o'clock and for lunch, I've only had these basic ass chicken thighs they were juicy i love them they're basic because it was just salt and chicken thighs normally i like them pork crusted so i am gonna be making those that way but yeah that's day one uh the probiotics finally came in i'm excited i'm gonna start taking these right away oh this is sad so sad so I woke up today and I actually feel really, really great. I feel wide awake at 8 a.m. And like, I really love this energy that I'm going through right now. I just feel so motivated and I feel so hyped up. Update on my bad moments. Even after a week of taking the same, that new product I told you guys about, I'm now guessing that apart from me taking a digestive enzyme, which I wanted to do anyways, because it has to do a lot with the fat ratio that I have. Like I might be eating too much fat or my body just still hasn't regulated to eating a lot of fat. And I don't know. I've, like I said, I've also listened to a lot of people who have done this diet and they've claimed that their body didn't start regulating itself for about six weeks. So, you know, every day I'm thinking, now that I'm getting closer and closer to the fourth week, like, yes, I do want to eat real food, and yes, I do want to have a normal life when it comes to eating food, but I really don't want this feeling to end, and I really like how I feel, and I think I might even push it out to six weeks. So that's my update. A little chicken sausage. Oh, my God. Some of this again. I've only used this like two or three times. Prepping a pot roast. For dinner, don't mind the vegetables. I'm not eating the vegetables. I'm just eating the meat, and that's for my husband. So, well, I regret putting the broccoli in because now it's just mixed in with everything. But that's fine. This is going to be dinner, and I'm just going to pick out the meat. Oh, yes. It definitely needed more salt. I made breakfast today. It was an egg and ground beef. A lot of ground beef. I don't know if I'll finish it all, but I'm gonna try. And for lunch, I had leftover meaty soup. All right, so for dinner, I am making. For dinner, I have a little carne and a little shrimp, and then that's my husband's food. 
and I'm excited to eat. This tastes so good. Uh, it's really salt and meat, but it is bomb. I'm of course gonna have my topo chico. Surf and turf, baby. I have a tongue update. My tongue has gone back to doing the thing that it always does. It's just, it went away for like a couple of days and now it's back and I'm repeating the cycle again. And so I've realized that cutting off all sugar and just sticking to strictly meat has not helped at all and that this was all for nothing i mean it wasn't all for nothing i've always wanted to do any of these things so it's like not a big deal that it came back oh it is a big deal that was like the sole focus of this whole video to begin with i'm a little bummed out because i'm like slowly slowly starting to accept that this is my fate that this is just something i have to live with it is not diet related and this is what i get for bad genetics on the brighter note my digestive system my bowel movements are normal again for once, it only took 24 days for it to actually go back to normal. And I'm not sure if the digestive enzymes did, had a lot to do with it, but they're working. I'm going to keep on taking them. I am happy about that. It is 1.26. I'm barely eating lunch. Hi. I'm barely eating breakfast. So I'm eating the meat and the shrimp that I ate last night and then <laughs> mixing it with eggs so I could be a little bit more full. I'm going to eat these pork rinds, which they're like the cleanest ingredients. And yeah, I'm probably gonna finish this whole bag. Maybe. So this is how they look like. I like them because they're very flaky. Like if you see, they're like very flaky. And they don't cut the roof of your mouth. Mm. So good. So I just finished cooking up a bunch of pork rind fried chicken. I think these taste so great. Honestly, it's just pork rinds, salt, and chicken. It gives me a variety of something to eat besides just chicken itself and it's so easy to make watch my last video and you'll see exactly how i made them i had bought these grass-fed sausages like the beginning of carnivore and i'm like barely eating them the last week of carnivore my seltzer and my chukon so update my bowel movements are getting better not gonna lie i'm pretty sure that digestive enzyme that i purchased it has been helping a lot i haven't been getting headache i'm not that hungry i've noticed that my skin looks a lot clearer so this is my nail update <sighs> hair still falling still concerning i do feel like my pants are sagging a little bit more because i'm losing weight i haven't been getting headaches i feel good but part of me is like i am excited to finish the 30 days of carnivore because i personally don't think i'm going to continue eating carnivore i might do i don't know i'm still in that between like catch me on sunday and i'll tell you if i'll continue eating this way because yes i want to but also at the same time i want to live my best life so this is it my little lunch until dinner don't mind my little mess i was running late so this is bona fide provision bone broth all i did was add salt heat it up and my yeti keeps it pretty warm so I'm probably gonna scald myself with this so i just came back from work and i'm like so hungry so i cooked up this like carne picada and that is how i'm gonna end my sunday dinner i was so hungry after it. the bone broth did not it was it was enough to hold me over but it did nothing as far as like actually making me feel full so I'm starving right now, and so I actually already ate a bunch of this. I'm just showing you the aftermath of what I had eaten. I might still eat some more, but that's pretty much it. And I think I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna cook up some chicken thighs just because I'm still hungry, and I know that the only reason I'm not finishing this whole plate right now is because I know I have to leave some for my husband and for my uh, sister-in-law who's coming over. And that wraps up my fourth week of eating a carnivore diet. A few things I will mention to you guys is that it de has definitely gotten easier since I first started eating this way. I don't miss avocado. I don't miss onion. I don't feel the need to be like, oh, I need all those regular foods in my life right now. Food has been very boring but satiating. So I have been getting just full from my meals. And once I eat, I'm done thinking about food. And the meals have been very forgettable just because, you know, it's just me. There's no reason to look forward to eating chicken and meat or broth or mineral water Like it's the exact same thing every day I do like the results that I'm getting like I do feel like my skin is clearing up I do feel like my clothes is fitting me looser, but I don't feel happy 
I feel like I'm missing out on the simple joys of life. I miss baking cookies and eating the cookies. I miss, like, I miss just doing something that doesn't involve eating meat. Even though I enjoy meat, meat tastes very good and it makes me very full and I don't feel like crap afterwards. So there is a good thing about it and there is the bad part where it's just like, Jesus Christ, that's all I'm eating today and it's meat. Meat for dinner, meat for breakfast, and meat for lunch. Mineral water has literally been the only thing that has been giving me life because it's something different than just regular water. And I know when I first started this video, I had told myself maybe I'll try eating liver and maybe I'll try eating some animal organs and yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Like I can, but I don't want to and at this point in my life, I'm over it. And as far as how much weight I've lost, this is how much weight I've actually lost this week. Like I had said before, weight loss is not the main goal on this diet. The inflammation on my tongue is the main goal. The inflammation in my tongue has not gone away. It has acted like it's gone away, which it's always done before, and it has came back, and it is now in the process of going away again. So, has this whole 30-day carnivore challenge been a waste of time? Maybe. Do I regret doing it? No. Am I sad that the inflammation hasn't gone down? Yeah, I'm pretty sad about it. It's fine. It's just fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's almost over. And as far as the weight loss thing goes, I know I'm losing weight. My pants feel looser. My husband tells me all the time that I actually look like I'm getting skinnier, which is great. I'm happy. I really like feeling like I have energy and confidence again. So there is a plus side to this. The only downside is that I know once I go back to eating normally, eventually I'm going to have to gain. Not, I don't think eventually I'll have to gain the weight, but eventually like this way of eating isn't sustainable for me. So there is going to be that part of my life where I'm going to gain weight and then I'd have to lose it again but actually eating a normal diet so I know I have that to look forward to that's why the weight loss isn't a big thing for me I will be sticking to a carnivore ish type of way of eating when I do go back to my normal way of eating just because I still kind of want to retain some of these benefits that I'm having on this diet so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I really appreciate you guys tuning in and actually seeing what's going on in my life and actually caring about it or not even caring but just being just being somewhat interested in it because you know thanks so tune in next week for my last video on the whole carnivore diet i'm going to be showing you guys my before and afters pictures of my weight loss i'm going to tell you guys my final thoughts on what i think about doing this carnivore diet and then give you guys a tongue update a hair loss update in the next video bye